What's up, y'all? It's K Medula with Sip Talk, where every day is a great day to create. And remember, passion fuels your purpose. So we're going to be sipping and talking with visual artist LeVance. What's up? My name is Devance. I'm, like she said, I'm a visual artist. I draw, paint. I've actually been drawing my whole life uh, since I was about four or five. I, can, I wish I would have actually brought some of those. And, uh, I actually recently just started painting about two years ago. Uh, so that's pretty much it for as far as the art side. But I, I consider myself more of a creative. So I, I pride myself on being multifaceted. So whether it's drawing, whether it's music, whether it's taking pictures, photography, videography, I, I try to dabble in everything, basically. So that's, a, that's, that's me in a nutshell. Multi-faceted artist. Okay, I think as a, a creative, it's kind of hard to put us in a box because, you know, you know, like I paint, I do graphic design, I do set design, just as a creative, we just get into anything, you know, like maybe one day I might play the guitar and right. have a band, right. like who knows? Right. <laughs> I don't know, you and know. I think, I think you have to be like that because everything that you do helps with another thing you do. So if you're playing the guitar, maybe that can inspire something with the graphic design. Right. You know? You know what? I'm about to I'm about to start a band, you guys. So um, casting call. I'm just joking. Um, so let's get into your artwork. So what inspires you to create? Well, well, since a young age, I would say I've always been an observer of the world, first and foremost. I, I was never much of a of a talker. I was more of an introvert. So just by nature, I look inward. So if you look inward. I would kind of want to project things outward if I'm not saying anything. Mm -hmm. So I think the best way I did that was just picking up a pencil and drawing. So that's all I did when I was a kid, just sit in my room, just kind of just observe things, or just listen to conversations with my parents or mm -hmm. people that come over, and just kind of channel that into my artwork. So I'm just inspired by life in general. So if anything I see, anything I hear, I kind of just want to project that outward. That's a really great thing about just us creators because, you know, things that are going on in our head, you know, or a TV show that we might have seen or a song or something, you know, recreating something some type of way. And, and even you talking about your family, like, it's it was so great that they came out to even support yeah. you. Like, family came out, rarely ever come out to anything I do. So I guess due to quarantine, they, they wanted to get out the house. They got cabin fever. They're here with me. <laughs> Family support is really important because I remember when I was in school and you know like a lot of people were saying how their family didn't really support them as artists because we we're going to school for artists and like so how are you gonna make a living off of being an artist but artists everywhere is in right. museums you know you have architects there are artists as well writers designers fashion designers so it's just what field do you want to go in like don't ever feel like as an artist you won't be able to make a career out of that you just have to figure out where your lane is right like figure out where your lane is and then once you figure that out you really have to attack that and just really just be all in and go for it. Whether you have a job, whether you do anything else, like you still have to devote a lot of time to your creativity. So right. say for instance, you work a nine to five. As soon as you get off, you gotta clock into your other job, which is your creativity. Because you don't you don't ever want to waste that because creativity makes the world better. Well, I like that. That should be a that should be a shirt. Creativity makes the world better. Creativity does makes the world better. So, what type of mediums do you use when you are creating? Well, as far as mediums, uh, it all started with a pencil, so I always go back to that. Like that's that's kind of the basics. Um, well, when it just comes particularly art making, so like I said, I, I pride myself on being multifaceted. So it goes from pencil. I use colored pencil. I use pastels. I use acrylic paint. I use oil paint. Pretty much anything, charcoal, anything. 
I think using different type of mediums that is what advance you as an artist and make you stick out because sometimes people want to just use acrylic like but you know there's watercolor in school you know I did watercolor um pastel I never got into oil because I'm a procrastinator sometimes yeah, yeah. and it takes very very much a process like, it, it takes a lot of patience to, to do oil painting just even to set up like oil paints you have to have linseed oil, you have to have uh, turpentine, all that stuff, and then you have to make sure you keep your hands covered with gloves, because mm -hmm. so, oil paint is toxic, mm -hmm. so I, I agree with that. Yeah. No, I don't think I'm going to get into oil, I don't, I don't <laughs> think so. I you don't gotta watch think a couple so. YouTube videos just to <laughs> kind of see. Yeah, but with oil, just the in depthness of just you know the values and the different colors that you can get in oil is so amazing yeah, yeah. and um and you don't have to have like you don't have to put so many layers on there like yeah. how you have to do with watercolor yeah, like right. i love watercolor but i remember when i was in school like my teacher doing critique they were like it's too light i'm just like i did five layers like what are you talking about like how am yeah, i gonna do this so what really stuck to me when you were saying, you know, um, for the people that are out there that aren't full-time artists and they have that nine to five, just how are you able to balance just, you know, like, I don't want to do this all my life. I don't want to clock in and clock out right. for people, you know, like, so how can I just focus on my artwork when my manager just pissed me off at work? Like, how... Like, what is your advice for people that, you know, they're looking to create more, but it's just their nine to five is just blocking their creativity? I would just say, you can't let your nine to five beat you down. You know what I'm saying? You have to, you have to, if you feel that passion in your stomach when you think about creativity and art, you have to use that to fuel you. You know, you, you have to stay up late. You have to just use weekends and creativity, just any, any possible way you, you can devote. I wouldn't say equal amount of time because, I mean, we need to sleep at the end of the day, but you have to devote a lot of time to your creativity. You have to, you have to nourish that like as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Because you want your kid to grow and be healthy. Right. So you have to put that time in. So I would just say if, if your job is beating you down, you have to fight back. <laughs> you, you can't let it beat you down. It's that simple. That I, I definitely like agree with you and especially if you know you were put on this earth to create, you know, then that's what you need to focus on and you gotta continue to be consistent with that and just fight through it. Cause I know sometimes I'm just like I really don't feel like creating and sometimes I procrastinate but then once I pick up that brush and I start painting where I have like an idea and I start drawing, I'm just like, why did I not do uh, this yeah, earlier? Sometimes starting is the hardest thing, you know what I'm saying? I agree. <laughs> just starting, like, but once you start and get into it, I'm pretty sure, like, there are some nights to where I, it's like, damn, it's 5 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get up in two hours. Yeah. I mean, but those, those, are, those are the things that you have to deal with if, you, if you're balancing a job in art. But if you're really about it, if you're really about that art life, you're gonna, you gonna deal with it. It is. Yeah, if you are about that art about life, it, it. do what you gotta do. Be about about it. Yeah, sure. Be about about it with the art life. That should be a t shirt too. Like right. that, you gotta yeah, check out my t shirt. Like, yes, <laughs> I created this today because I was like, LeVance, he a dope artist. Yeah. So, you know, we about to promote this artwork. Yeah. So, yeah, so you guys, we're gonna get into this sip and talk because Levance has an amazing piece and I'm so excited for you guys to see it. I have so many questions. So we just gonna get into it. So this is a piece that I did called Disconnected. It's a part of the social distance series that I created. And this piece represents a disconnect between a relationship between a man and a woman. So they're, they're quarantined in a home together and they're not even paying attention to each other. He's looking at his phone, she's, she's playing the piano. And as you can see, there are gloves here, there's, there's a mask here, there's, you know, I, I had to play on the toilet paper thing to where everyone bought toilet paper in. And so that's why there's two empty rolls here. So, and also there's a calendar that has that represents uh, April, the month of April, because I was paying attention to the news cycle and just kind of 
just looking at everything that was going on because I'm I'm a little bit of a conspiracy theorist. So I, I kind of have my little theories like people were talking about 5G and things like that. So I kind of have that referenced in there. So as you can see in the calendar, it's, it's April 2020. So I kind of documented the entire month for me. So a lot of a lot of the month, it says stay at home on, on probably like 50% of the dates because that's what I was doing, uh, just like everyone else. And um, I did this piece in oil pastel. This is pretty much the most detailed oil pastel piece I've ever done uh, and the largest oil pastel piece I've ever done. Well, basically with this piece, uh, what inspired me is, well, me just being alone in quarantine and kind of just observing the world and observing what people were saying on Twitter and Instagram. Like I've seen people on Instagram saying, like they don't even like their partner anymore because they're around them. And then once you have to spend that time around the person, then you kind of realize maybe we don't love each other. Maybe we, we are disconnected. So that was kind of the premise of this piece. This is a piece that I definitely want to uh, exhibit at, at galleries. Uh, and that it will be for sale once, once we uh, get everything arranged as far as that goes. So, so yep, yeah, this is it. And uh, this piece actually uh, was me documenting the entire month of April. So it took me the entire month of April to make this. Uh, and every day of April, I, I actually put something on the calendar to represent what that day was for me. So as you can see on April 29th, well, I don't know if you can see, but on April 29th, I put the gym was open. So that was a big thing for me. I missed the gym. I was like, dang, I need to go to the gym. So uh, I don't know how many hours this took, but I don't know, the entire month of April. I probably, I probably worked on this piece maybe about four to five hours a day. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm the type of person where I work on pieces at night. I'm a, that's when my mind is the most active. So I, like I said, I pay attention to the news cycle and just kind of put little, little things in here that, that was relevant to what was going on. The fact that that took you a whole month to create the art piece and just the details in it and the colors and the values and the shadows and just, you know, every single thing in the art piece meant something. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really realize it until you started like explaining it. Like some things I saw, you know, with the disconnect symbol mm -hmm. and that, you know, that they was a part, but when you even spoke about, you know, when you're in it, when you, for people that are in relationships, and you had to spend like this time with each other and you're just like, I'm learning things about you that yeah. I didn't even know. And just like, see, you know. You see all their bad habits. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> wow. But even with yourself too, like spending that time with yourself, mm -hmm. you just really realizing like, wow, like mm -hmm. I'm spending a lot of time doing this when I need to be doing that, you yeah. know? So yeah, like I think that that piece was amazing. I hope you guys I appreciate enjoyed that. that show and tell. Thanks, LeVance, for sipping and talking with us. So Bro. let our viewers know where can we find you? Where can we purchase your artwork? See more dope pieces like this. Well, you guys can follow me on Instagram at LeVance Lining Art. And you can follow me on Twitter at LeVance Lining. And my website is www.levanceliningart.com. And that's where you can see uh, pieces that I put for sale. You can see kind of some behind the scenes stuff, some, some things that I post on my YouTube page. And you can see what things are priced at. So that's that's kind of where you can see, see everything I do. So you guys definitely check that out for sure. Thank you so much for joining us on Sip and Talk events. Once again, that piece was amazing. I, I hope that. you guys were inspired to Create, create something, yes. you know, during this time, you yes. know, quarantine, or if you're not even looking at this when we not in quarantine no more, still create. Right. Um, so yes, every day is a great day to create and remember passion fuels your purpose. Mm. So Amen. make sure you follow us at Sit Museum ATL on YouTube. Any questions that you have, any topics that you want to speak about, even if you want to be on the show, let's sit and talk about it. We would love to speak with you. Follow us on IG at Sit Museum ATL or our website www.sitmuseumatl.com.
Also, Facebook, Sit Museum. We don't have no Twitter, but soon we will. Soon. Got to get on the Twitter. Got to I gotta get like, on the Twitter way. I know. But see, I had Twitter like when I was early in college. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I don't know what to do with Twitter. Anyway, <laughs> you guys, um, thanks so much. Uh, see you next time on Sip Talk. And once again, passion fuels your purpose.